Right, four minutes past 11 on a 3 triple R, and you just heard a bit of Big Pig there, and a track called Hungry Town, and I've got uh, Ollie and Nick from Big Pig in the studio here with me. How are you, fellas? All right, Tony, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Um, how did the band come about? Um, I formed the group in London at, at the end of 1984. Um, I just had an idea to do something with just drums and vocals initially. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. Uh, and then I went and saw a group of Japanese drummers called Kodo, who come from an island called Sado in Japan, and they tour, toured um, all of Europe and America. And they're basically a 12-piece drum troupe, um, and they were like really inspiring. So um, that that told me that I could do it; it would work to do this sort of lineup, which is three drummers and four vocalists. And um, what you use a bit of bass keyboard as well? Or? We didn't in London. We started doing all that when we got to Australia. Um, I had to basically come back because my visa expired, so I, had to, I didn't want to stop the group, so I, I, I knew people back here that would be good for it, and um, we started rehearsing and it turned out to be a success, you know, in terms of line-up. What sort of backgrounds did the band members come from, other bands? And uh, stuff? A few of us came from a group called Bang that were current in Melbourne at about 1982, I think. My dates are a bit shoddy at the moment, but uh, that was Shireen. Myself and Tim Rosewarn were all in Bang, along with uh, Nick Seymour, which a few people might know. Um, and the other people have either very uh, scr scratchy backgrounds or else they're very young and haven't played in groups before. Both the drummers are, are very young and a bit novice, but um, they've come good now. So. And I ran away from home and found Ollie in London. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we met in London originally. Um, How's the reception been? It's a sort of a, an interesting outfit, as you said, the three drummers and uh, the vocals, and that's basically it. Uh, has it been picked up well around town? Uh, well, we just got back from Sydney this morning, about four o'clock, and uh, that was fantastic. Like, the reaction in Sydney, I thought, was much more immediate than it has been in Melbourne. Um, mainly, we had a bit more publicity going up there, and we were seen with hundreds of collectors, so the crowds were much bigger. But the... Um, the reaction line, we played at the Piccadilly Theatre and um, pub on, when was it, Monday? Monday night. And yeah. there was quite a, quite a bit of interest from record companies, so hopefully we can get a deal soon. All right, and that's, you've just been up the east coast, up to Sydney and... And played Canberra, Canberra as well. And Canberra. Yeah. And basically, in Australia, you've just been playing Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, we, when we first started playing, we did about half a dozen gigs in a row. And then we, we went off to um, write more material and obviously to record as well. Building up a following? Uh, I, I think so, I hope so. I think we will do more when the record's released. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll hear a track now from that forthcoming record, Money God. Yeah. 